This could be a huge hidden clue of what's to come. Now, when will we see a bounce? The other thing I want you to watch is the weekly stochastic RSI cross. I want you to watch that. Hello everyone, Steve Courtney is damn sure that the Caution Channel could lead Bitcoin towards a technical chart bloodbath. Watch to find out the details and key levels. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon, and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. Here we are, Bitcoin US dollar index, and we are on the five day chart. The five day chart gives us foreshadowing for that weekly chart. And we know that with this five day chart, there's been no false signals in 14 years in Bitcoin's history. We've never had a time where we were in a bull run and touched quicksand and it didn't end up in a deadly bloodbath. There's been zero times. Every single time that we've been in a bull run and touched quicksand, it's a bloodbath, at least one year of a bloodbath. And we don't want one year of a bloodbath. We want an, uh, the continuation of our bull run. So let's dig into it. Now, when you look at it, the Gaussian channel is very, very simple. We have a green area, which is really good, and we have a red area, which is really bad. Now, when you look at the red area, it lasts for several hundred days, as you notice, here in our charts. In 2012, we had this red period last for 133 days. In 2015, we had this red period last for 406 days. In 2019, we had 273 days of this red period. And our most recent, 2023, 427 days of red. Luckily for us, we've been green since, but is that about to change? When you look more deeply at the Gaussian channel, you'll notice there are three distinct lines, the top line, the middle line, and the bottom line. All of them act as key support and resistance, right? The median line or the middle line is our key level for support. When that's broken, it becomes pretty heavy resistance. You can see here, when we're in the midst of a bull run, we dip our, hoe into, our, our toe into quicksand, it turns deadly, but we're still like finger clawing and trying to gear towards this median line and hold it as support, which we managed to do. But as soon as we break that, we hold it as critical resistance. And that is where we have our mega crash, right? Every single cycle, we have correctly predicted the mega crash. And it's a simple rule with the Gaussian channel. Let me give you this simple rule and you can take this and use it for the rest of history, right? When we change from green to red and get rejected from this median line, that's the absolute mega crash. Now, we haven't changed from green to red yet, and we didn't get rejected at this median line yet. But let me show you in history, because those of you who follow my channel, we called the mega crash here in April 2022, when everyone thought we had lost our head. We were saying there's about to be a mega crash, and everyone else was saying we're going to 100k. And you can see what happened after that. But it wasn't just here. It's been every time in history. Again, change from green to red, rejection from median line. Take a look. Our prior cycle changed from green to red, rejection from this median line, mega crash. Our mega crash leads to our ultimate bottom, right? You can see it time and time again. Here, change from green to red, rejection from median line, mega crash into our bottom. The mega crash always leads to our bottom. Luckily for us, we have not changed from green to red and we have not gotten rejected from this median line. But more to come on that in a moment. This Gaussian channel, and shout out to everybody who's been following me for a while, we've been using the Gaussian channel religiously for years and years and years. Now, some people may wonder, well, Steve, why haven't we covered the Gaussian channel recently? Well, it's, it's very, very, very strong in a bear market. And the only time we're gonna use it in a bull market is when we get close to the quicksand, which we're at right now. So here we are. We're not going to cover the Gaussian channel when we're way the hell up here in, in an absolute bull run, right? We're only going to cover it when it gets noteworthy, when we're about to enter quicksand, because now you're well, you're well informed of what that quicksand delivers to Bitcoin. 
It's a bloodbath, complete and utter bloodbath in the worst way possible. Now, again, I need to state the obvious here and how important this is. We are very, very close to quicksand as you're watching this video. Now, again, every time that we've been in a bull run and fallen into quicksand, it was at least one year recovery. We can't look at any examples in Bitcoin's 14 year history where we entered quicksand and we got out in a couple weeks or a month. There, there are no opportunities. There's zero, right? The top of this channel, right? We're looking at the bottom of our channel at about 40,000. We're looking at the median line about 47, and we're looking at the top about 52. Again, these are rising, right? This is a rising channel. This is based on moving averages. So next week, it's going to be even higher. The week after that, it's going to be in higher. So we need Bitcoin to turn a corner right now or things are going to get very ugly. Now, let me take a minute to talk about the bottom of our screen, the RSI, because this is incredibly noteworthy. I need to show you this. So when you look at it, you can say, okay, we had the bottom of our market here. It's easy to say that now. Everybody was saying that I was completely crazy. I said the bottom of the market was that 15, 16, 17. I beat everybody over the head for a few months that they should be buying Bitcoin at these levels, that, that the bottom was in. And everyone said, there's no way. We're going to 10K, 9K, 8K, 7K, 6K. But this is what I had to say about that topic. Roll the clip. I really believe based on the facts that it's much more probable that the bottom is in and it's not probable that we'll go to 10K. So you could see at that time, it was absolutely ludicrous to say that the bottom was in. The high, high, high majority of humans completely disagreed with me in the strongest way possible. But you can see what's happened, right? The also the same is true at 73,000. At 73,000, I literally said a big surprise crash was coming and that people were going to be very shocked at what was to happen. And then this played out. So you can see, you always wanna go against the grain. Whenever everyone is chanting the same thing, it usually the opposite happens. Now, let's get into this RSI. As we know, RSI overbought, oversold, goes from zero up to 100. What you can notice about this is we had critical market structure for two years. And we just broke this critical market structure that we had for two years. Take a look. It started here, June, 2022. Now, what was price doing in June, 2022? That's when we called bottom number one. This is when we called bottom number two. This went lower slightly, but there was ridiculously strong bullish divergence. In other words, we had price making a, a low here and a lower low here, and we had the RSI making a low here and a higher low here. They went against each other. That's bullish divergence. We covered it right here on the channel. It was one of the easiest things to spot, except the whole world was screaming that we were going to go to 7K, 6K, 5K. It, it was just not, not a possible scenario where that would play us. Now, it wasn't logical in the charts and the facts, right? Now, at the same time, as that first bottom, we started building this beautiful market structure, right? We had our pivot low here, we had a higher low here, we had another higher low here, and we just breached it for the first time. You can see back in June 22, we started this, right? And we had been making a high and a higher 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 high. The highest high was here at that 88 level, which we covered on the on the weekly on the weekly scale, which was just remarkably high and remarkably overbought and everyone in their mother including grandma betty the leader of the herd was screaming to buy more bitcoin at seventy three thousand, and we said the opposite why we focused on the facts we removed emotion we didn't pay attention to the news which is what i want you to really get in this habit you know always pump the brakes the herd is always overreacting to everything every day they're overreacting to some. And tomorrow, they might overreact to completely the opposite thing. They have no idea what they're doing. Throw them right in the garbage, focus on the facts. But what we have in front of us is a huge warning sign. Plain and simple. 
There's no other way around it. There's no way to describe what's happened. When you break a market structure of two years with multiple touch points, again, how do you know if this is a valid line? You need to have at least three touch points. We have one right here, we have two right here, we have three right here, we have four right here, five right here, six right here. We have six touch points. We want just three. We have six touch points and we have continuous higher highs and we have continuous higher lows. This is called an uptrend. By definition, an uptrend is higher highs and higher lows and you want to have a line on the chart with at least th three touch points. We have all of that. This is by definition an uptrend, and we just broke that. What do you think that means? What's the opposite of an uptrend, right? Bitcoin right now is in trouble, and Bitcoin needs to prove that it can maintain this uptrend, although there's huge curveballs thrown into the mix, right? I just wanted to state the obvious here, right? When you look at that, that's major. That's huge. That's incredibly noteworthy, and it's likely that that won't be discussed nearly enough, which is why I wanted to bring it up to you. Now, when you look at it and you say, okay, I understand this, we broke this after two years, incredibly noteworthy. I understand we're getting very, very close to this Gaussian channel, to quicksand. Now, what we need for quicksand is not a wick to come down in. If you look at what we've identified, it's bodies. We need some bodies closing inside of the quicksand. Here, we had bodies inside the quicksand, 2019. Here, we had bodies inside the quicksand, 2018. Here, we had bodies inside the quicksand 2014. So we don't we don't care about a little wick dipping its toe in, right? We want bodies and we don't care about bodies in the middle of a week. We care about bodies of candles that actually closed. So keep that in mind as you're watching the charts. Now, let me explain what I think you should be doing right now. Number one, I want you to watch this chart like a hawk and watch the quicksand with bodies. Number two, I want you to watch this RSI. Now keep in mind, we're on the five day chart, right? I want you to watch this RSI and how it plays with this pivot high. Now, this is going to be our resistance, right? It was our support for two years. Whenever you break support, it becomes resistance. Whenever you break resistance, it becomes support. This is, it's true for the history of any chart on planet earth, right? So we broke support. It's now our resistance. So look for a bounce in the coming weeks to coming months and we're going to have to deal with what is going to be remarkably strong resistance. This could be a huge hidden clue of what's to come. Now, when will we see a bounce? The other thing I want you to watch is the weekly stochastic RSI cross. I want you to watch that like a hawk because it's scheduled to happen in July or August, just like clockwork every six months we have one. And that's the one thing that could save the day for Bitcoin. The one thing that could help us not enter quicksand. The one thing that could help us remain in an uptrend. The one thing that could save the day is quite literally the stochastic RSI. Now, it's been a battle of the stochastic RSI versus the two-month candle. This is the, the storyline that we've had for three or four months now. It's been playing out to the T, right? Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Steve Courtney. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.